<laughs> hey everybody, Dee here from Down the Wormhole, and today we've got kind of a fun little video. Our local fish store guy made his own local fish food, so I picked up some with some credit that we had from a few fish that we took in before, and we decided to grab the LJ Grazer wafers and see what they were all about. It was a good price. It was $15 Canadian for how many? This was almost five ounces of LJ wafers. So it came sealed with plastic around the outside, no cover on the inside, and this is what they look like. So I have gotten some film of our fishes eating this and trying this out, and I thought it would be kind of fun to check out the ingredients to see what he picked and the order that it is in here. So. For my first contestant, we are going to feed it to KC. I have not given him any yet. We are going to try this here. My only complaint about this is that it is a rock hard. I, li I like to be able to break it into some smaller pieces to feed to my fish, my other fish that like the algae food. And this stuff, you have to literally hit it with a hammer. So I have hit one up with a hammer. And let's see what KC thinks of this right here. Come on, dude. Oh, and it's in. <laughs> well, there you go. We will check back in a few minutes and see what he thinks. And let's go see Guppies, Plecos, and everything else that we got and what they think of it. Well, as you can see, everybody is just destroying the pellets. This Pleco is enjoying it for sure. So I will bring up the analysis here for you guys to check out and the container for you to see. We've got a minimum protein of 30% I thought was really good. It says feed two to three times daily. For the ingredients of our LJ Grazer wafers, the first thing on the list was fish meal, which I thought was really good. Wheat rice flour, wheat bran, soybean meal, wheat germ, just to kind of keep the pellets together and a bit of a filler. And then there's also uh, the spirulina algae, calcium phosphate, dehydrated alfalfa meal, carrot meal, celery meal, and dried beets, parsley, and watercress. I thought all of those were kind of neat to have in there. I don't think I've ever seen a fish food with celery meal, so I thought that was really neat to see. There was also things like the pea byproduct, kelp, shrimp meal, all sorts of other things in here, the zinc, and the B12 supplements, lots of neat additives in the bottom. So that was very cool to read and see what he picked out for his fish food. My question to you guys is, have you ever tried a custom made fish brand food from either a retailer or a private seller? Just to leave me a question in the comments. What did you think of the ingredients in comparison to the one that you have tried? As you can tell, all of the fish here absolutely love this stuff. <laughs> Casey, it took him a long time to eat it. It was definitely a grazer wafer, which was cool. It kept the fish busy for a long time. So thank you guys so much for checking out our fish food. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will see you guys all next time.